Yo guys, what's up? We're here. We have another video. This is on a subject that again, I see asked about a lot in the Discord and on Reddit. And I've seen uh, asked in quite a few other Twitch streams too. And that is, where do you find the Blue Runner eggs? And what is the Blue Runner? Well, we got the answers for you here today, guys. We're going to go over a couple of clips that I've recorded during my gameplay. Uh, to show you how to find the Blue Runner eggs, uh, what clues it is you're going to be looking for to find them, and quite honestly, after you've done this a, quite, uh, a few times, uh, you'll know the spawns of the egg locations themselves, and you'll be able to skip the hunting part uh, that we do here beforehand that gives you the clues on where these eggs are. Uh, so let's take a look here, and we will get you all learned up on the subject, eh? Uh, if you find this video uh, useful, hit the follow button, subscribe button, like the video, uh, comment down below. Let me know. Let me know how I can do it better. All right, let me know how it helped you. Alrighty, so we're going to do this as a little bit of a voiceover here, guys. I've got the pre-recorded footage, and I'm just going to explain to you what it is we're doing. So if you look on the ground here, you'll see we have these tracks on the ground. You've probably seen these running around. Probably not sure what they're for if you're watching this video. Well, these here are the tracks of the Blue Runners. Uh, so you'll see these on the ground leading to certain locations and what you're going to want to do is you're just going to follow these footsteps in. These uh, footsteps will always lead to where the blue runner nest is. Uh, so of course you do want to be careful while you're following these footsteps here. It definitely takes your attention away from other things in the game. And it's pretty easy to get ganked while you're trying to follow your footsteps here. As time progresses, you'll learn where these footsteps go and the, and the location. So I know if I see the footsteps in this area, they're always going to be going to this broken bubble here uh, where the egg will be inside. So with time and map knowledge, uh, you'll learn these things. So here you see another one. This is on the opposite side. Uh, this is coming out of the east, uh, the east evac here and heading towards the woodcutter logs here. I think in this clip, we do get to see actually a little bit of PvP action. Uh, not really action, it's really just me coming up on a third party here, but get to score a kill in the process. So you'll see these tracks are going off to the right side into the cave here. Uh, you can't hear it, but I did hear some gunshots up there. So we're going to go see what's crack a lacking. Score an easy kill here, and we don't want to attract too much more attention. Normally I would rush whatever else is going on up there because I'm a PVPer at heart, but I didn't really want to ruin the video in terms of getting the footage. Uh, so I'd come back to my tracks here and just follow them in. You'll see here the tracks are easily visible and as long as you're following the tracks, you will get to the Blue Runner eggs. Now you probably remember seeing these tracks all the time and you think, uh, oh, it's gonna be easy to get these eggs. Now, I, I see those tracks all the time. Well, I mean, you know now, when you're looking for them, you're never gonna see them. So be, be ready for that. You know, that's the way uh, that's the way games work. So this time we're here in the jungle, uh, just to show a different location of where you can see the, uh, see the tracks. Obviously, this is a high danger area. You do have to deal with Jeffs in this area. Uh, if you don't know, Jeffs are the big blue Barney dinosaur looking guys. Um, they're pretty hostile, and if you're not ready to fight them, you probably don't want to be venturing into this area. So I will have a video coming out a little bit later on how to combat the Jeffs, even as a new player. The only thing you need is a very, very early game gun, and just the know-how of how to kill them. So we're following the steps here. I did lose them a little bit here in, in the brush, but as long as you go back to the last step that you've seen, and you follow it in the direction it was pointing, you will get to the next step. So just keep following the steps until you find the Blue Runner egg. I think I do end up having to kill a mob here. I, 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 don't, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I remember I had to kill something. Yeah, so we just had a little trench shotgun. This was trench shotgun before the nerf, actually. I'll just give you an idea of how long I've been sitting on the recording <laughs> trying to get the video made. I know that there's somebody else in the woods because I had heard them shooting earlier in the clip. Again, I know you guys can't hear that. I give them a little uh, wiggle just in case they're scoped in on me because uh, you just never know when somebody might be looking at you in this game. You always just assume somebody's looking at you. Give them a little no wiggle. 
And there we go, we found the egg. Here we go is the last clip, and this one's a little unique as it's done during the storm. Now, the storm changes things a little bit. It changes a lot of things, actually. And again, we'll have another video on the storm coming out soon. But one thing that it does change here, you get a little sneak peek, is that in the storm, the footprints are highlighted in blue. So it makes them a lot easier to track in the storm. I know a lot of people were scared to go out in the storm, and rightfully, uh, you know, it's a pretty scary place to be. You can hardly see anything. The mobs, uh, you know, it, it seems like they're all targeting you specifically, and if you do run into a player out here, it's, it's not a good time, right? But it is a good time to farm extra materials, and uh, it makes it a lot easier to see these tracks for the blue runners, too. So you can see they're highlighted in the neon blue. We'll be able to follow them here. The lightning strikes come down right on top of you, so you just want to make sure you're sprinting when the lightning strikes come down. I did lose them in the water, but now I see that they are going up on the land. And this uh, this egg location is actually a little bit bugged. I learned something myself while making this video, and that was that if you follow the tracks and they come to a dead end, literal dead end, um, they did lead to where the egg is. It's just the elevation of the terrain kind of messed up. I have to kill a couple of mobs here as they uh, as they did aggro me here in the storm. I get myself into a good location. I think I take a couple hits of damage here. One from a Strider and one from a Rattler. I'm using a suppressed SMG. And I'm not saying suppressed just because you guys can't hear the game audio. It actually is suppressed. And the suppressed SMG really does make it so that you can kill mobs out here during the storm. And not really have to worry about uh, people hearing me. Between the sound of the storm and the fact that the gun is suppressed, you don't really have to worry about being uh, jumped by somebody. So we're picking up a couple of charged spinal bases here. They, those only spawn during the storm. So you see here, the footsteps came to an end, right? And I'm kind of confused. I'm looking around, trying to figure out what exactly is going on here, because this is not something I've, I've experienced before while recording this video. So I go back to the last step uh, that I find, right? And it's up here on the log. Because I talked about this earlier, if you just follow the direction the steps are going, you'll find the next one. But there is no next one here. So, logically, uh, my guess is that it's right underneath of here. So we go underneath, uh, take a look at underneath the land bridge. Lo and behold, there it is. Alright guys, there we go. That is the video on the Blue Runners. It's a lot easier than you probably thought it was, right? When you're looking for the eggs, it does seem much harder than that. But, it's really not. That's really all there is to it. Find the tracks. Follow the tracks, find the egg, and watch your back while you're doing it. What else can I say? If that was helpful for you, again, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos on the Cycle Frontier. This is the main game that I'm playing right now. And as long as nothing crazy happens, I'm going to continue playing it. I really do enjoy it, and I really enjoy making content for the game. So like, subscribe, comment on the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios, muchachos.